Hey guys, the time has come to uh, finally install the water meth kit um, on the my TTS here. So all these parts, like the uh, um, water methanol pumps, controllers. Uh, there's my solenoid I'm going to use, and then the, um, there's a tank. So. Everything I'm playing with here today um, will be available on the website. So the part itself may be different, but it will do the same thing. So link in the description for those parts. So let's walk over here to the TT. And as you can see, I already took a bunch of crap out. Um, I took the rear seats out just to make things easier so I could show you guys stuff better. Um, plus, I think I was, I'm going to leave them out anyway for weight reduction. And um, plus the back seats on this car are like, if you're tall, at, like if you're over five foot, you can't sit back there. Um, so yeah, the first thing I'm going to start with, I'm going to mount the tank. There's a trim piece here. I'm, see, the trim piece looks like this. There's one on this side. I'm going to, it's like a nice thick. Uh, material I think there's some plastic in there so what I'm gonna start with is mounting the tank onto here so what I did is I just did two little holes and I'm gonna put um, a nice thick zip tie so the tank can mount to the uh, the trim piece there so um I'm gonna get started on that, and after I get the tank mounted, we'll mount the pump, and uh, and then we'll do all the wiring, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and I didn't really show you, like, uh, here, let me pop the hood. So, um, you will need a boost tap of some sort for, um, I have I have a line coming right off my manifold because I have the integrated engineering manifold But you can buy a boost tap for your car, and I, ha I have those on on my website as well and uh, See this manifold I swapped right off the GTI, so I didn't even I didn't even pull off uh, The lines and stuff because I know I was gonna install meth eventually anyway, so you can see I have the nozzle holders here and um uh, the nozzles obviously and then I have like the little separator here the little block uh, one to four and uh or and if you if you get the kit off my website um, I will if you do a direct port setup like this one I will include these smaller 3 16th lines they will fill faster um, and just helps with latency of the system so I may not be running uh, the methanol, the methanol kit, how it is. Um, I will install it like this, but um, this setup was on for the GTI, and this is uh, really good for um, fueling because the closer you have it to the motor, the more the methanol will act as fueling, and the farther away, the more time it has to atomize and uh, act as cooling. And this car has a lot better uh, fuel system, so. I will install it like this, but I may or may not be running it like this, just because it doesn't need to be ran this way. I may uh, be doing like a, uh, a post turbo or a post intercooler nozzle. So yeah guys, let's get started.
And as you can see guys, it's uh, mounted up with some zip ties, nice and clean. So it's a little dirty because this was my old tank and I had it mounted up on the GTI the same way for like two years. Very solid. So let's go put this piece of trim in the car. And then this gets mounted up down here. That's what the hole is on the uh, bottom piece of the trim. I'll show you guys in a second after we get it done. See, there's your, uh, that's holding the uh, trim in on this side and there's clips on the top. So tank is mounted. Uh, this, this is the uh, level sensor. Um, so that just gets a positive negative from the controller and uh, this is going to go to our pump. So uh, let's get our uh, pump mounted up where we want it. It's messy just because it's it's everything I tore out of the GTI, but um, I got the pump sitting right there. I just used um, mounting tape for now because I'm going to get a rear seat delete and then I'm going to actually mount it to that, but right now it's nice and sturdy. So you see the line coming from the uh, tank to the pump. So now we're moving on to the controller and we're gonna have to wire everything. So the big red wire, that will be coming from the battery. The black is the battery negative. And then we're gonna run a boost line that I talked about earlier from the manifold or your uh, boost tap to there. Then the uh, level sensor is the, uh, the light blue wire. And then the level sensor negative is the uh, the brown so that's gonna go to the tank that I showed you in and that will make the uh, LED flash when it's low and then uh, the pink will go to the positive of the pump and then the orange to the negative and then uh, the brown there's another uh, kind of like see there's the uh, tannish wire and that is gonna go to the uh, negative of, of the solenoid and the positive of the solenoid is gonna go to the same um, that's gonna to go to the pink wire because you want the solenoid to open when the pump is spraying. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So we're gonna get started wiring everything. Um, on this car, I'm gonna put the wires and a uh, meth line. I took the trim piece off and I'm gonna put them right here. And then I'm gonna pop, pop this open. And then there's a grommet up here because this is a DSG, so um, there's a hole where the clutch pedal would have been. See, there's the hole zoomed in. But I'm gonna run everything through there. If you don't have a DSG, the manuals will will have a uh, a wiring harness, um, a wiring harness like in this area, and you can. Uh, use a coat hanger or something and poke through your wires through that and uh yeah that's about it so i'm gonna start wiring everything up and uh let's do it guys okay, so i've done the first steps of wiring what i recommend to you uh to do is uh always wire the ground the power and uh the arm first just so you can make sure you get that controller on so I, I armed the power grounds and I also ran the boost line um, and I ran the, uh, the wires back to the pump. So if we press the test button, you may be able to hear, you may not, but I'm just hitting it just for a second just so I can hear that, uh, that pump starting and I know that the pump is getting power. Um, I ran the uh, arm power, it's like, a, it's like the telephone. Um, and radio, something like that. Um, but that only turns on when the car is on. You could also use a, a cigarette lighter fuse or you can wire that directly to uh, the cigarette lighter. 
and um yeah and then the power the power is coming up here and I tapped into the uh, the fuse box because I the battery is in the back of my car so uh yeah you can't really it's it's tapped into the uh, appropriate 12 volt right there so uh now I'm gonna wire up the uh, the low level sensor to the pump or the the controller and then I got gotta start tucking all these wires it's still a big mess and then I need to run the wire and uh and then I need to mount the solenoid up here somewhere. And then I need to kick, run the uh, the uh, meth line. So uh, I'll get back to you in a few minutes. So I have the uh, solenoid wired up. Uh, the positive, actually you can do positive or negative because it's just a magnet and it doesn't matter which, which is which. But one wire I hook up to the power that is going to the pump and the other one, uh, the negative, the white slash brown on the controller. And that way, when the controller sends signal to the pump to start spraying, the solenoid opens. And um, I'm gonna show you how to work these fittings. So what I like to do, these are a very tight fit when the fitting, when this line is new, I like to put like a Phillips screwdriver in here and kind of flare it out. That way um, you can kind of push it on. And then you just twist this on. These are super nice fittings, they'll never leak. They're on my website, of course. And even hand tight is good enough. That will never leak. So now I'm gonna run the methanol line and I'll get back to you. Lines are hooked up. You can see it come from the uh, direct port. Goes down through the hole. And a little blurry here. We gotta, of course we gotta tuck all these wires up. I I'm gonna mount the uh, the controller up here. And then there's a line to the pump, the wires go onto the, uh, the uh, low level sensor. So everything's gonna get tucked away and I'll get back to you when it's done. And I also I'm gonna run to the store and get a uh, LED and the LED will flash at the same time that the LED on the controller does. So you want to put that some, I think I'm going to put it like up here and um, the LED will be uh, lit up when the pump is spraying and it will flash when uh, the controller senses the uh, low level sensor is uh, the tank is low on uh, fluid. Well guys, pretty much everything is done. Controllers mounted up there. As you can see, um, all the wires are ran through that grommet I showed you guys. I put the uh, the cover on back here. I'm still gonna I'm gonna get like a rear seat delete, and then this will look a lot better. So um, there's a few things I want to talk to you guys about. So methanol, where do you get it? Do I just get boost juice? Uh, in my opinion, no. I would call VP Racing. Um, you ask them, where is my closest dealer? And I get my methanol, straight methanol, um, for $5 a gallon locally. So, and then I can mix that. So I'm getting, um, when you buy Boost Juice, it's already mixed 50-50, so this is much better value. I recommend calling VP Racing, finding the closest dealer. So, uh, advantage of, advantages of methanol, um, it can raise octane, it cools, um, cleans your intake valves, and that that's like a fact because my GTI was over 100,000 miles um, and the valves looked great because I was spraying water methanol and I never did carbon cleaning. Um, oh, see these, anything with threads like here on these fittings, use some Teflon tape to ensure the threads do not leak because there's a lot of uh, pressure there. But yeah, um, overall guys, if you want to get a setup like this, I have a uh, build your own water methanol kit on my website in the description below. And I mean, just follow the guide on 
what whatever controller you buy just follow the uh, follow like the wiring diagram and that's all there really is to it so uh, yeah thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one